So having not done yoga for a while, we'll just start very gently. Coming into our mountain pose, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders, and crown stacked up. Let your shoulders come back and down, core activated, so those ribs toward your spine and up, keeping that spine supported. And just take a few moments focusing inward, breathing deep, exhaling tension, and just allowing yourself to come back into your yoga frame of reference. And then inhaling, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch out, but keep your shoulders down. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, stretch out to the front, shoulders still down. And then exhale, clasping your hands behind you, pressing fingers to the floor and the heart toward the ceiling. Feel that upper body go into a little back bend. And then pivot at your hips, bring your hands up and your head down. And just deepen into that as much as you'd like. Lift your sitting bones a little, stretch the back of your legs, move your chin around, let your neck release. And then on an inhalation, Bend your knees slightly as you work your way back up and into that upper body again for your back bend. Stretch back through your head. Don't lift your chin too high. Stretch out through the neck and the whole spine. And then inhale, coming back up. Release your arms and take a moment just feeling a little more circulation as we begin moving. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, shoulders still down, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, lifting your heart, stretch back into the back bend, and pivot over. And again, deepen as much as you'd like, lifting the sitting bones, moving your chin, just deepening head toward your legs as far as you'd like. And again, bending your knees, stacking your spine, come all the way back up into the back bend once more. Keep those shoulders down, head back, and heart high. Inhale, upright, release your arms, and just take a moment, noticing a little more circulation, energizing your spine. Side stretch next. So let's keep one hand down, the other arm out. Palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push your hands away, feel that stretch starting, and then lean to the side. Reach the arm next to your ear, out through the fingertips and your head, and sink the foot down. So get that whole side stretching apart. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Inhale back to the top, exhale down, and back into mountain pose. Other arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away again as you lean to the side. Push the foot you're leaning away from there. Get those ribs opening as you stretch out through your head and fingertips, and make sure you're not leaning to the front. And then inhale back to the top, and release. So side stretches, opening the ribs and moving that sideways motion to your spine. And then separating the spine in your twist, we're going to go into our stretched apart twist. Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands are right above your shoulders. Clasp your elbows gently, keep your arms next to your ears, stretch that spine apart, and twist either direction. Take a moment and breathe. Keep the weight on both feet. And exhale over in the twist. Deepen as far as you'd like. Keep the arms next to your ears. Lift your sitting bones. Just feel your whole body start moving. And then in the twist, on your way up, just inhale to the top and lift your heart. Shoulders down, elbows back. A little upper body back bend while you're twisted. Remember, don't overdo your low back. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. 
Spread your toes, stretch your spine apart, and twist to the opposite direction. Take a breath, exhale over. And again, deepen as much as you'd like. Take a breath or two, keep your arms next to your ears, keep the weight on both your feet as evenly as you can. And then again, in the twist, work your way up into that upper body for your back bend. Always gentle on that low back while you're twisting. Take a breath or two, shoulders down. Then inhale upright, exhale around to the center. Keep your shoulders down, stand your fingertips toward the ceiling, lengthening into your extended mountain pose. Stretch it up through the head, through the fingertips. And then come up on one side, lifting the opposite heel. And feel that stretch opening your ribs. Reach that hand way toward the ceiling. Exhale that side down. Inhale the other one up. Just keep lengthening through that side, getting as much extension as you can. Exhale down. And again, on that first side, lengthening up. Feel those ribs opening. And release, do the other side. Keep that foot flat on the side you're stretching. And then both feet down, both arms up, shoulders to your waist. Swan dive forward. Arms reaching out to the sides, chest bleeding. Stretch that spine straight. And then drop in a rag doll. Just hang as deeply as you like. Pull in further with your hands behind your legs if you want. And then release. Lift your sitting bones. Put your chin side to side. Move those shoulders around a little bit. And then release back to the center. Bend your knees slightly. Sitting bones go down as the ribs come up and you wind all the way back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get back up, just feeling your spine, the circulation through your body, what's going on as you come back into your standing position. Stretch that spine apart again, and we'll just rotate side to side for a little more twist action. So feel that whole spine move, from the sitting bones all the way up to the crown, everything nice and open and straight. And just follow your hands from one side all the way around to the opposite side, as far as your body wants to turn. And then come back to the center and swing your arms around in that back stroke for swimming. So the arm comes in close to your ears, it comes up and back. And that whole shoulder area works around. Feel your whole spine still moving. Everything is working. And again, just release back into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, crown towards the ceiling, hands to your heart. Look at your fingers and follow them all the way up as you lengthen into that chest expanding, slight back bend as you look at your thumbs pulling them behind you. And then follow your hands to your heart, pivot at your hips, exhale, drop back into red. Take a moment there and then slide your hands up under your knees on your shins. So elbows, knees, and spine, everything straight, stretching it out halfway up. Exhale back down, lift your sitting bones. And again, tuck in your chin, knees slightly bent. And just wind your spine again, rotating back into mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, and arms relaxed. Step your feet together. Bend your knees toward, but not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees, and we'll circle the knees. So we're working the ankles, knees, feet, hips, lower body, everything. Just circling around, nice big circles with your knees, feeling those feet working, your ankles working, everything getting a little movement. And then stop, 
in reverse direction with the knees. Balance things out, making sure that we're using our bodies evenly both directions. Feel everything going in the opposite way. And then coming back to the center, pick a spot out there on the floor, lift your heels and see if you can find some balance on the base of your toes. So the ball of your feet are supporting you. Your toes are spreading out, the heels just off the floor, seeing if you can find your balance today. And then move your feet back onto the heels, lifting your toes, with that whole bottom of your foot working. So you're massaging through the heels, through the arches, through the toes, everything. And then release and come back, feet hip width apart into mountain pose. So <clears throat> evenly over your feet, hips right over your ankles, core activated, supporting your spine, shoulders relaxing back and down, and ground to the seat. Keep that spine stretching apart. Keep those toes spreading apart. You want the balls of the foot base of the toe area supporting you, not the toes themselves. And we're going into our balance practice. Yeah. So <clears throat> lifting the arch, getting across that ball of the foot area and into the heel on your balance foot, whichever one works best. Ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up. Core supporting your spine. Make sure that that's ribs toward your spine and up so you've got that lower back supported. Shoulders relaxed. Sink into your grounded foot and bring the other one up. Remember, a little is fine or more if you want or all the way toward your heart if you want to pull it in. And when you get into a stable position there, you can work your ankle around because we don't want to get stiff ankles and not be able to walk effectively. So circle the ankle both ways. And when you're ready to release, flex and point before you put it down so that everything is straight as you get back into mountain pose. And of course, we got a balance on the other side too, so everything is evened out. So once again, those toes need to be straight ahead, knee toward your second toe, ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, core supporting your spine. Shoulders back and down, ground to the ceiling. Find your support through that whole foot, and when you're ready, release the other foot. A little, or more, or up towards your heart. And again, find your stability when you do, if you do. Go ahead and work your ankle both directions, circling it around, getting everything flexible and working. And again, when you're ready to release, make sure you straighten it out, flexing and pointing to put it down. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling that stability of both feet and enjoying it. Now we'll do a little pelvic tilt. So let's angle the toes out slightly, knees toward but not beyond your toes, shoulders right above your toes. Straighten that spine, stretch it out, and then sink into a back bit. So you're bringing the ribs forward, chest forward, and looking slightly up, but keep stretching through the back of your neck. The sitting bones are going way up behind you, so the whole pelvis is tilting up and back. And then tilt it down and forward as you pull the ribs in and look down between your feet. And just rotate into the back bend as you inhale and into the forward bend as you exhale. And just feel that whole spine working along with the pelvis and make sure you're not moving your shoulders or your knees, but you're working the whole spine and torso. Breathing with it. Just feeling all those bones moving on. Getting a little bit more circulation going. Not a lot of pressure in those knees, just positioning. And then the next time you're forward, just pause a moment before you inhale back 
into standing. So as you get back into mountain pose once more, just take a moment feeling all that energy circulating through your whole body. <clears throat> Go straight ahead, sitting bones down, shoulders relaxing, and crown to the ceiling. And then clasp your arms behind your back or bring your fingertips up between your shoulder blades into reverse prayer position if that works for your wrists, elbows in toward your sides. We're gonna bend the knees just gently toward your toes, not beyond, and then <clears throat> big circles with your hips. So circling around as big as you like. And then stop and reverse direction, going the opposite way. Always working your body evenly both directions so that we even things out, balancing energy and alignment. And then returning again to our standing position, relax your shoulders back and down, <clears throat> bring your arms out to shoulder level, Turn your fingertips, palms up, and spread your fingers out. And some big circles with your arms. Get those shoulders moving around. Big and wide. Fingertips, head, everything reaching out. And then make the circle small. Keep her reaching out. And then stop. Turn the palms down, still fingers spreading apart, and go the other way. So big circles the opposite direction, reaching the head up, shoulders down, the fingertips in. Spread your toes, and then smaller circles, just reaching out. And then stop, stretch it out. Keep your hips over your ankles and push over to the side with your shoulder. Return back to the center. Go the other way. Stretch it out. And again, back to the center, stretching everything open, toes spreading, fingers spreading. Bring your thumbs into your hands, fingers wrapped around gently. Turn one fist up and the other one down. And then we're going to rotate. So you're pushing out through the fist, up through the crown, down with the shoulders. And you're turning one fist up at a time and the other one there. And then bring the elbows in along with that rotation. So the lower arms are moving. And then getting the shoulders going with it, the whole arm turning. Keep pushing out. And then really move those shoulders forward with the fist going down, and then the other way as it comes back. Feel it going all the way into that middle of your back, meeting in the spine area, across the shoulders as you keep that rotation going. And then just releasing a little bit, letting those shoulders relax more. Just moving the arms one up and down. And then just the lower arms. And finally, just the fists. And then turn the fists both down. Really crush those thumbs inside the fist. And tighten, tighten, tighten into your fist ball. And then like our National Geographic flowers, we're going to unfurl our finger petals. Just slowly letting those fingers go. Slowly, slowly stretching them out, reaching out with the fingers, spreading them apart as they get all the way out, bringing the fingers out and apart, pulling the fingers up toward the ceiling, pushing out through the heels of your palms, and shake everything up. Uh, yeah, feel those shoulders, all of that circulation through your arms and upper body and bring your hands to your heart. Look at your hands. Inhale, follow them toward the ceiling. Thumbs coming back behind you, lifting your heart, coming into a little upper body. That's good. Separate your hands, palms out, 
Swan dive forward, leading with your heart. Push over until you're parallel to the floor. Stretch everything out. Drop into ragdoll. Tuck in your chin. Exhale. Slide your hands up under your knees for our halfway up stretch. Once more, elbows, knees, and spine straight. And then bending your knees, let's transition down into our child pose on the floor. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up at your feet, and forehead down toward the floor. So deepen as much as you want into that compact child pose position. Let your spine stretch. Exhale, tuck your chin in, forehead in toward the floor or your knees, wherever it wants to go. Shoulders just relax. And then inhale, sit up on your heels, slide off, bring your legs out to the front into staff position. Pressing out through the heels, pull the toes back, knees toward the ceiling, and sitting bones slightly behind you. And we'll just warm up the hips a teeny bit. So bring your foot up to the opposite thigh and let the knee come down toward the floor, letting that hip joint get a little bit of release. So hands on your knees, don't press, just add a little weight if that's something that you would like to do, but never ever force it, just let it relax. Any, any release through the hip, through the leg, through the knee. Exhale, just let it go. If you need to have a little easier, remember you can move that knee or other leg over to the side, but knee and toes still up toward the ceiling. And then bringing your foot and knee into your hands or pulling your arms around your leg or we'll pull it in and rotate side to side, getting that outside of your hip a little looser. Take a breath, tension out. And then releasing that, feel the difference, noticing that we need to balance the body. So again, sitting bones behind you, letting that other foot come up toward the thigh and the knee down toward the floor. Knee and toes still up on this front leg, or remember you can move it over to the side. And again, you can have the hands adding weight, but not pressure, letting that knee come further toward the floor whenever it's ready. Always personal practice, just let it happen. Don't force anything. Exhaling, relaxing, letting it go. And when you're ready to rotate, bring the foot and knee into your hands or wrapping your arms around, pull it in. And just move gently side to side, healing what's going on in that opposite hip area. Take a breath. Let it relax. Shoulders still over your hips. Spine still straight and stretching toward the ceiling. And when you're ready to release, once again, come back into staff position, feeling how your body is hopefully evened out a little bit more. Getting ready for our, oh, let's do our diving dolphin. So bring your right foot to your inner left thigh, knee out to the side, and then bend your other knee and bring the heel back near your hip. So this hip will be up, stretch to the crown, and then this hip slightly up as you turn your whole body to that first knee bend. Ribs in, tuck your chin, exhale, dive under. And then rotate your face forward, round, reaching up, heart toward the ceiling as you inhale to the sun and the sky. Exhaling, diving under, you're the dolphin. And inhaling, coming up to the sun and the sky, just like those dolphins do along the shore. And then when you come up again, pause at the top, exhale back to the center, and release your legs into staff position. Getting ready to, yeah, our diving dolphin wants to go the other way. Sitting bones behind, lift foot into the inner thigh or the opposite one if you did the other, and heel back near the hip, but not under for the second leg. Stretch it up, exhale, turn toward that first knee. 
And again, this hip is slightly up. We don't want to plant that sitting bone area too much. Dive under on the exhalation. Inhale, coming up. And again, just working that whole spine, working that whole lung capacity as you exhale under and lift up with the inhalation. Feeling the hip area, the spine, everything working through your motion. And when you come back up, once again, pausing, releasing back into stack. Bring your feet to the end of the mat so that we can roll down into corpse position for our final relaxation. So just coming onto your mat, onto your back, hands, palms up slightly away from your hips, where your shoulders release down into the surface beneath you. And your head side to side, up the neck and jaw release. Toes toward each other, and then just let them relax. Take a moment to breathe, letting any tightness in your body release as you exhale. Deepen all that breath. Exhaling, deepening into that earth support, letting your body just grow heavy and sink, relaxing completely. We work the whole body, so let all the muscles relax, all the tension go out. Just allow your body to soften and sink, feeling that earth support. Let your body go heavier, deeper, more relaxed. And as your body completely relaxes, just let awareness of your body release from your attention. And as those thoughts release, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them disappear as well. There's no need to remember the past. No need to anticipate the future. No need to think about your body or any other content of your thoughts. Just let the thoughts drift in and out as easily as your breath. And as your breath deepens, and your body relaxes and your mind drifts. Just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And just allow your awareness to turn inward. Find that peace deep within and let the peace fill your body and your mind. And just take a few moments to be peace. If you have longer to keep relaxing today, take as much time as you have opportunity. If it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, whenever you're ready, begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels right for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely, however, is good for you. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels and your heels up toward your hips. Press your back gently down as you pull your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however, feels good for you. Giving yourself that appreciative yoga hug. 
letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.